We will talk about the safety measure of the facial nerve preservation in face and neck lifting. As you know, we have two main branches we have to be very careful about in, in face lifting. This is the margin of the mandible, the angle of the mandible, the site of our incision. So this is the eyeball here, as you see, and one finger from there, usually the frontal branch of the, or temporal branch, branch of the facial nerve, and also about maybe one centimeter below the obule. So this is a line here, which represents the course of the frontal branch of the facial nerve. This is the line there, usually. This is here, the zygomatic arch there, the zygomatic arch there, and um, there is the, the body of the, of the, of the uh, zygoma. So the most important about this now temporal branch or frontal branch that it runs in this, in this area deep to the, <coughs> deep uh, between the two lobes of the parotid gland and then on the, on the zygomatic, zygomatic arch here, it transfer from deep to superficial. For, for it transfer from under the periosteum to run there uh, under the temporalis fascia. So from this point, from the upper border of the zygomatic arch or zygomatic process there, it uh, branch become more superficial. It go, it, it transfer from below the periosteum to run superficial under the fascia of the temporalis muscle or the way through. Therefore, now it's our incision line as you see there. And our undermining of this area from above the zygomatic arch will be staying superficial under the skin. We will not go under the muscle or do any 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 deep mass in this area. So in the, from, from this point, the upper border of the zygomatic arch and all the way through will be staying above the temporis fascia and, and straight away under the skin. It's staying in subcutaneous, subcutaneous layer. The other important branch is the mandibular branch of the facial nerve, which runs again, emerge from there, and loops down here, and then run all the way, yeah. One more point I want, I want to say about this nerve here before I move there, that there is variation always, one centimeter, uh, posterior one centimeter anterior, so you have to keep this in mind also. Now back to the mandibular branch, it runs this way, so therefore, also, also, also it runs usually just straight away under the smas. So if you leave the smas in this area, there's always danger of, 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 of hitting the nerve or causing injury to the nerve. So therefore, uh, I will say about two centimeters below the margin of the mandible and about two centimeters above the margin of the mandible there, in this area here, I will not do any smas at all. No smas in this area. So this is a forbidden area again, only subcutaneous. So in this area here, or we'll be staying, be staying subcutaneous, about two, one to two centimeter, one finger below the mandible uh, margin, and one finger above the mandible margin. Again, you stay subcutaneous. So our smas is going to be, mainly how we do two smas, the upper smas and lower smas. The upper smas, the cheek, will be starting from a line. This is the angle of the mandible from this area, about one finger above the angle of the mandible, above the angle of the mandible, and the line to the lateral cancer cell. So this is the direction of our start incision for our internal, for our deep mass, our deep mass. And we go to reach the ligament there, the zygomatic ligament, upper ligament, middle ligament, and inferior ligament, and the mandibular ligament there. So we're going with, the, we're under this, all the way through, all the way through to this area, our mass, in order, in order to to uh, achieve, this is about upper mass limit. Sometimes we go slightly further also, but this is the main thing that we we release all these ligaments: the the lower ligament, the middle ligament, the upper ligament, and the zygomatic ligament. And then he subcutaneously we will, will release the mandibular ligament there. So as the, here we will have the buccal branches, you have to be very careful to be able to see. If you stay on the roof of the smas there, staying on the roof of the smas, you're able to see the buccal smas nerves and reserve the buccal nerve. Yeah. Also, we do a lower smas there, 
one finger below the right margin of the mandible along the anterior border of the sternomastoid muscle going there and just to the meaning of the midline there and this is our, our lower smash there our lower smash and then we will we will just release we will just uh, release the lower end of so we will be released our incision there. Once we do undermine under the mass, we will be again just releasing the lower border of this mass and pulling all this mass again to the mastoid bursa. This will achieve an excellent, excellent cervical mental angle. So we have upper mass and lower mass, the cheek mass and the cheek mass and the neck mass. And this area, forbidden area, no mass in this area as I have explained. The additional most important feature of the of the uh, safety and and uh, during the procedure is to use this equipment, the Medtronic facial nerve monitoring. This equipment there, and you see it has collected into a blob. This is the blob, the same principle of ECC. It says you have blob there, and blob, uh, sorry, electrodes there, electrodes there, electrodes there, electrodes there. This is would be watching all the branches of the patient. These electrodes are watching all the branches of the of the facial nerve as you see and in this way this is an extra safety so if i or if you if you get close to the nerve straight away the the the, the machine will will, will be and will start to you get a beak here you start a beak on uh, uh, the upper uh, branch and you see all the branches there as you see so, so therefore, therefore, this is an extra, extra safety measures is to use these electrodes, which are connected to the, this metronic machine in order to give you more safety during the procedure. Since we've been using this machine, we had no, 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 any incident of any facial nerve weakness following the procedure. So I hope you now I have covered all the safety measures of uh, uh, the preservation of the facial nerve during face and neck facelift. Thank you for watching.